we're back in the garage. So we got a no heat call. Um, I guess the pressure switch has been changed. Uh, why it's mounted to the heat exchanger, I don't know. That's a terrible place to, for, to mount that. I'm probably gonna move that. Um, but anyway, it looks like we got an Ecobee hooked up to this thing. So we're gonna go ahead and check it out and see why it's not working. I don't think I'm getting a call for heat, but I could be wrong. So we'll see what those flashing lights mean. So here we go. So obviously the homeowner hooked this up. So this is when you don't have enough wires to hook up a common to power up the Ecobee thermostat. Uh, but as you can see, there's plenty of extra wires. So this is totally unnecessary. I might, I might just take it out just because sometimes these things cause issues. Uh, but we are getting a pressure switch, it, uh, pressure switch code on here. I don't know if you can see that. Let's see. So yeah, it's hard to see because I got all kinds of lights dark in here. So this light here, this one's flashing, um, and then this one's off. So according to this, it says it's a uh, pressure switch um, is not closing. So what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and reset the unit, and it is calling for heat. And then uh, we're going to go ahead and see. But if the inducer is working, so I spun it and it feels okay. So um, apparently this has been changed before. So we'll see what's going on. So if uh, this is new, we're gonna just make sure that the nipple isn't clogged or whatnot, and then we'll go from there. So what we're getting here is I'm getting a pressure switch issue already. The inducer didn't even turn on. So we gotta see what's going on with that. Oh, there we go. Oh no, okay, so there's our fan. All right, so it doesn't seem to be a pressure switch issue. So we're gonna go ahead and try to um, bypass the pressure switch just to make sure everything's working. Uh, but the, the interesting thing is the inducer didn't come on. Uh, now this board does do a quick self-test uh, where this will turn on for a few seconds and then cut off, and it did do that. So that tells me the relay in there is fine. Um, so with these things, they have to actually detect that they're open and then it closes after like a second or two. Um, if it's already closed when it's, uh, when it first cycles, then it'll give it a pressure switch error. So if these things ever get stuck closed, it won't fire. So, um, so I'm going to do a little more check and see what's going on. Okay. So this is a universal pressure switch. Um, so it's got two places to connect your hose. There's a positive and negative. Um, now sometimes with these things is they're weird. So anyway, you got to normally close and normally open, right? So this one here is a normally closed. Uh, so if we check here between here and here, it's closed, right? Now if I take this tube and I suck on it, this is what happens. Not sucking, sucking. So nothing, right? But if I blow on it, So basically this port is a positive, so um, it uses positive pressure to close it. This port here is for negative pressure, so um, this is producing a negative pressure, so it's not going to close the switch. Uh, so we're going to move the tube over here. Um, now uh, this tube is actually connected to this switch down here, right here. So if, um, if I suck on this tube like this. So here we go, releasing, releasing, so you can see there. So we're gonna go ahead and put this speed down here and we're gonna hook this back up and we're gonna go ahead and cycle our heat and see what happens. Okay, so that was the self-test. Now we have inducer because the problem was is that pressure switch is closed. If the unit is calling for heat and the pressure switch is already closed, it's going to think it's stuck, so it's not going to it's not going to do anything. Uh, in this case, the inducer won't even run; it'll just run the fan. So um, now that the inducer is running, more than likely the pressure switch is closed. Uh, we should be getting a, a hot surface igniter coming on any moment now. There she is, and then uh, we will be getting our gas valve. So that little self-test is kind of nice because that told me that the motor and the relay were working fine. Um, but yeah, sometimes those things can be confusing. 
So yeah, we got ignition there. So it looks like we're good to go. So, you know, sometimes um, issues can be uh, another person's mistake. So I've made, I've actually made that mistake before. That's how I knew about that. It's because I've done it before. Um, so, you know, we'll let the tech know, uh, you know, what's going on with it. They'll probably watch this video and learn from it. Uh, Cause we all make mistakes out there. We're all human. And uh, I think I might claim, I'm thinking I might clean that flame sensor just to be safe. But anyway, it looks like we're good to go. So thanks for watching. Make sure you like and subscribe, comment, tell me what a horrible technician I am. Hit that bell notification, follow me on Instagram and Facebook. Thanks for watching.